just wanted to talk about Nigeria a bit. An advice from an elder statesman. You want me to talk about Nigeria? Yes, please. Let me immediately invite you to a lecture I'm going to deliver on the 10th of August at the Mbogong Parawa Hall on Udodoma Street. I'm going to talk a lot about Nigeria because Nigeria has derailed. Totally and completely. Because when Nigeria was founded, it was founded on federalism. And what we're doing now is a, a unitary type of government that's not one thing or the other. And that's where I think Nigeria has completely and totally derailed. I don't want to preempt my lecture, so I, 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 will, I will leave it at that and tell you that unless we re-establish ourselves, complete rebirth, we are not going to even survive as a nation. And that reminds me, when the issue of um, local government autonomy came, mm -hmm. especially the way President Buhari asked that it comes, mm -hmm. um, you made a statement to the mm -hmm. press yes. that uh, you were advocating for true federalism. Yes. What do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> That's the whole point of my lecture. So, and it is a long, long day lecture. So, if you are prepared to spend one hour, then I can tell you. But I'm telling you, come and listen because it, 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 that's true federalism is the only thing that can rescue Nigeria today. And the president agrees. The president said when the APC, they called them progressive governors, visited him, he made a statement. And I think we should all be grateful to him that he made that say and hold him to it. He says we will be belaboring the points to talk about, because as of today, Nigeria is due for true federalism. So we can just give us, you know, the one thing that you want us to achieve, with, that we will achieve with true federalism. In the one thing we'll achieve yeah. is that there will be greater cohesion in this country, great, much the kind of development that you can't even imagine. And I tell you why I say so. Please do. When we had federalism, the western region of Nigeria under Wolowo mm. was able to bring television, first television station in West Africa. He built a stadium. He gave free primary and secondary education mm. and of quality education for that matter. Built Cocoa House and then built Western House in Lagos. There was real development. And he did it without any of the other regions feeling, oh, uh, they are cheated. Because they controlled their resources. Because they control their resources and use it in the best way they can to develop those things that they consider their essential needs and priorities. So we will need a constitution amendment to get I that. don't think we need a constitutional amendment. We need a new constitution. A completely new constitution because you see there's this a way where if if we take a constitution let's say constitution contains a uh, three or it's essentially a hundred parts mm. and you have to amend all hundred parts you've written a new constitution so our constitution today is said you cannot panel beat it you have to have a new constitution is that possible yes indeed did we is the 1999 going to be a new one amended no it's been there was a there was a constitution before 1990 and we started a new constitution in 1999 which we have been amended then in 1960 had a constitution, mm -hmm. 1963 had a new constitution. Mm -hmm. Let me shock you, because I know this is going to shock you. Okay. Let me see now. In Nigeria, sit well and listen carefully. Yes, At the time Nigeria was practicing true federalism with three regions, each of the three regions had its own constitution. There were four Nigerian constitutions. The federal constitution, constitution of western region, constitution of eastern region, constitution of northern region. That's why I'm inviting you to that lecture. Four Nigerian constitutions. I will be there. 
Nigeria had an ambassador in London called the uh, High Commissioner. Each of the regions had an ambassador in London called uh, Agent General. So what happened? What happened was that the military took over and military only knows one line of command. Change the condition, made it a unitary type government, and we have been going down since then. Forget the fact that they build road, they build refinery, we have been going down entirely since then. If we had been left to continue to the, with the practice of federalism, mm. believe me, like, Malaysia, Malaysia came and borrowed the palm nuts from us. Oh. Brazil, we started our own defense industry at the same time as uh, Brazil started. We are buying arms from Brazil. And do you know that during the Civil War, Biafra was producing his own uh, uh, missiles and things like that? We have the ability in this country. But the type of government, governance system we have is putting us down. We must change it totally and completely. Thank you, Your Excellency. So you will talk a little about the Kwai Boom, and then we we'll wrap it all up and come for the lecture and come back and tell our viewers everything you said about. Kwai Boom has been unfortunate. Your Excellency, please. Yes, Kwai Boom has been unfortunate, and I say I tell you why. I, when I say something, I say it sort of advisedly. The success of Lagos State. Is continuity. Hmm. That's the only thing you can say I've made Lagos as successful as it is today. There's a blueprint and every government follows. And that's we have a blueprint. Yes, but we came and tell, said no, this was an entire blueprint and yet you did not you don't bring an improvement on it. You just want to destroy it because it was started by Atta. This blueprint, um, did you collect it from someone? No. I was, I happened by, by God just uh, put me there as the first civilian governor. Oh, so it was, no um, it, 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 it just fell on my shoulder. It could have, could have been anybody else. Okay. See the interconnectivity of all the things I tried to do. It frightened the federal government of Nigeria to the extent that they were thinking, ah, does Atta want to secede? Mm -hmm. He's building an airport, he's building a seaport. He's building his own independent power plant. He's doing this, he's doing that. Does he want to succeed? He frightened the federal government of Nigeria. But you see, we come and say, is that that started to say, look, IT, look at the science back. It's been abandoned for how long? And today, go and read what the kid is doing. Go and read what the uh, some other states are now trying to do. Everybody's like coming, in fact, behind a choir bomb with a lot of this thing, but we left them where we, 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 we didn't proceed with them, and so they're all overtaking us. What if I blame you a little for not, for not doing enough to ensure that every other government that came in stayed true to that blueprint? Yes, you can, you, can, you, can, you can blame me because... What did you not do right, Your Excellency, sir? That's what I'm asking you. You see, you see, because you say, you want to blame me, I say, yes, blame me, because perhaps I should have carried the whip into government as a <laughs> Or I should have put a gun to the head and said, this is what you must do. But did you communicate this vision to these people that succeeded you? You were not there in December 2012, when we had a, a, there was a mass at the Pro Cathedral. And I got up and said, I am out of office, but not out of ideas. Mm. But if the governor does not even talk to me, I have no means of communicating my ideas to him. Once you leave office, you leave office. That's really, and only, you see, today, you know where it's going to be very successful? Mm. The governor of Delta State. If you in the media, so you should read, they say, ah, the synergy between Okawa and Ibori is going to lift Delta. Delta. That synergy could not have come from Ibori because he's out of office. It is the current governor that must seek him, bring him in on bring him on board and say, look, what what did you have in mind here? How we do this? You know what I mean? If that doesn't happen, there's nothing Ibori would have been able to do. 
How is His Excellency Governor Domi Manuel doing? Did you also find a way to bring this blueprint to him? I, he's, he's talking to me, and I'm, I'm very glad that he, he, he wants to, you know, that, that there should be some interaction so that the past can influence the current and the, and the present can also influence the future. Because he too will leave office. And I want to see what is starting continued by the subs, by succeeding government. Not necessarily by saying I'm making this person governor zero. No. The, the idea is good and everybody agrees. See, it's also the fault of Akwaibon people. How so? Oh, because you have the right to tell your governor what you think is doing wrong and nobody will ever. Nobody will ever have the you know, because afraid of governor, afraid of governor. And yet you put the yet you yet you put the governor there. My government will not. My governor government will not criticize. People were just being paid to talk nonsense about what does Obama want. Was that is that criticism? Mm 